Many moons ago, before PlayStation was invented and a tablet was something you took for a headache, our Pacific Moana was beautiful and clean, full of magnificent creatures who were ruled by the sea gods. One of those creatures was the mighty tuna. FYI kids, tuna is the salmon word for eel. Tuna while well, he loved to spend his days swimming through the crystal clear Moana, eating like a king. Not a good king like King Arthur, but a wicked, selfish king that all the small fish in the Moana were afraid of. Good news! One of you is going home. Bad news, the rest of you are going to fill my belly! <laughs> but then, one night, the humans arrived at the Moana, and with them came plastics and fast food wrappers, all of which littered the crystal clear ocean. Tuna and the rest of the fish of the Moana swam through the downpour of the rubbish. These humans are crazy! Why would anyone put waste into their food supply? All of the creatures of the Moana made it to the edge of the reef, where they were able to look back on their home. If we don't do something about this, the humans will poison our homes with their rubbish and we won't have a place to live anymore. What can we do? If you haven't noticed, we are just fish. Food for humans. No way am I going to end up on a dinner plate tonight. In fact, all this swimming around has made me quite hungry. I might just eat a few of these Nemo-looking fish here. Hmm. Hmm. Even under the greatest danger that the Moana ever faced, Tuna was still horrible to other fish. Listen, Tuna, I may not like you. It's my good looks. No, you're truly ugly. Jealous! Would you just listen for once? You're arrogant. You're a bully. You're self-obsessed. Basically, you're a mean, mean fish. And nobody likes you. Roberto does. You ate my brother. I wish you were dead. I have a plan to save our home. But it will need everyone's cooperation. We are not alone in this fight. Peter the Penguin spoke with Al the Albatross. They too are affected by the humans littering the oceans. Kingfish began to talk of a magical world called Fishlantis, and how a secret doorway to Fishlantis lay in the coral of the seabed. Help me get rid of the humans, and I promise to take you through the secret passage to Fishlantis. You must think I was born this morning. There is no Fishlantis. If you guys want to end up in a frying pan tonight, good on you. But I am not getting sucked in. So Tuna took off, while Kingfish and everyone else made their plans to get rid of the humans. At daybreak, the fish fought back. First, the orca was sent in to smash the ship by pounding on its side. And once the humans came on deck to see what the commotion was... Get the bombers in there! Overhead, a flock of seagulls dived just above the deck and pooped all over the unsuspecting humans below. Crikey, the spoon! Flying fish were swarming over the boat. Oh, my! Let's get out of here. The humans fired up their ship, but before they could get away, the birds had picked up all the rubbish out of the water and dropped it all back onto the humans. Just like that, the fish claimed their Moana back. And thanks to the birds, most of the rubbish had been returned to the human ship. We owe a great debt of gratitude to our bird friends. The Moana belongs to everyone, not just the fish. And hopefully these humans have learned a lesson. You said you would take us to the secret land. I did, didn't I? Kingfish kept his promise and led all of the fish and those who helped in the cleanup through a series of openings in the coral bed. Everyone that followed Kingfish simply vanished, never to be seen again. Hello! Where is everybody? Roberto! He found no trace of anyone. After days oh. of being alone, he remembered something Kingfish had said. Help me get rid of the humans, and I promise to take you through the secret passage to Fishlandis. Tuna spent the rest of his days searching every nook and cranny of the coral seabed, which is where you can still find him today, in small dark places of coral, searching desperately for the secret door to Fishlandis. <laughs> 